Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. I also just noticed I forgot to redoodle that. So here we are, back on the ocean floor-ish. Well, the tracks along the ocean floor, just to check out what's new around these parts, and just because. Plus, I'd like to reuse that ocean border. That's my favorite border of the whole bunch that I made. And I've only been able to use it for so and so many parts, and it's so sad. So, so sad. <laughs> so as for these sea octoroks here, um, I also can tell you a little bit of extra trivia about them. If you'd like to wait, rather than trying to shoot them while they're going around you in circles like this, you can do so, as they will eventually just kind of pop out in front of you, which makes it significantly easier to shoot at them, thusly. But then you will probably won't encounter the same quantity of them if you're trying to aim for like rupees or something like that because, well, you just won't be able to kill off as many of them by waiting like that. So up to you, depending on what's your preferred method of safety or attack, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Sometimes a good offense is the best defense. Like, if I were to kill this one, the other one's gonna appear relatively quickly afterwards in comparison to if I just left the other one. Uh, if I can, in comparison, if I just left this one until it went in front of me or something like that. So, yeah. Alright, so that is the end of this new track formation. So, I guess I will see you over there. Hmm? Hmm. You know, I am getting a decent amount of rupees for this. Like,. I'm, I'm killing the Octorox and the uh, um, Octo Mines, and well, uh, killing the Octo Rocks, you know, the Sea Octorox, it will give you like 20 rupees quite often, so <laughs> it's not too shabby of a way to get rupees, although there are, of course, faster ways, but you know, you know, I'm just saying, since I'm coming down through here again, you know, it's not, it's not that bad of a place uh, to get rupees from, I must say. So anyway, we this small little giblet of tracks here is all that I didn't show because I automatically went through this track over here to the Ocean Temple when I was being chased by that armored train, so I was like, eh, I'll come back to that later, and then I was automatically pooped out to the surface when I exited the Ocean Temple. Whoopsie! <laughs> Next series of tracks coming up here, I kind of took the low road. The demon train took the high road, so we're taking the high road this time. Well, I guess maybe they're about the same sort of road in terms of heights and sort of kind of. Well, the other one is the high road, I assure you. And speaking of the Ocean Temple, every time you exit the Ocean Temple, it'll be pooped back over to the surface. So even if I started over at the Ocean Temple, I, uh, yeah, it'll just... Yeah, if I would have started here to go backwards along the tracks and loop out to the start, nope, wouldn't work. In fact, I tried that. That's why I started out over here this part. But that's okay. It doesn't really matter each any way that I start because, you know, it's just it's still showing the same amount of tracks, just in reverse from the intended plan and whatnot. I'm just doodling the lines in backwards. <laughs> And now the other route that I took here was this, you know, the low road, but this is the high road, and it's kind of, kind of maybe a tad more scenic since you get the, I guess you can say, underwater mountainside in the distance there to see in comparison to all sorts of other landmarks and whatnot for, for your ph photographic needs, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just thinking of random stuff. <laughs> Alright, now that I finished showing you these new tracks... Bye bye Marks! <laughs> About time, right? Yeah, I know, I know! Alright, now I'm gonna go to the Ocean Temple and show you what I mean uh, in terms of the warping. And here we are! Miss this place? Well, we're not gonna be here for long. I say, we are not gonna be here for long. So yeah, this is where I initially thought I was gonna start the part, but... No, because when you get out of here... There's where it poops us out. <laughs> so, alright, let's go down the new tracks this way now, because there is a rabbit, and we've gotta get that rabbit. Shall we? <laughs> I don't know if I'll cut ahead this time, it seems kind of like a waste for such a short distance. Plus we can enjoy the beautiful ocean side of sailing 
okay, not really sailing, riding, but we can also encounter other sailors that are trying to take our booty, probably because they keep blowing up their ships. Like, you know what, I'm, I'm so tired of this, we are just going to attack him every time he gets around this portion of the ocean. We're gonna take his booty, we're gonna buy ourselves new ships, and then it just ends up unsuccessful. Like, they should be coming somewhere around here, probably like after this junction here, so let's, uh, let's wait it out, let's see. Here we go, oh, there they are! <laughs> Who would have guessed? I didn't aim my shot over there, that was weird. You see my pointer over here? Okay, now, grab it, grab it, grab it. <laughs> I was paying attention to that, but I don't know if I missed the rabbit's location somewhere around here. I might have. Watch him respawn when I touch a certain par part of the track or something like that, and it's just like an endless supply of being bombarded by pirates just, just for w trying to get one rabbit or something like that. Oh, there's a beetle. Maybe I should... Uh, can I... Maybe I could stop by him. What's my rupee count? Uh, yeah, I guess I could spend a little bit more to get myself up to the silver membership. Uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Where's that rabbit, anyway? Uh, I guess it's not around these parts. Uh, okay, I'll stop here first. That will do. I don't know how he's landing in the water. I guess his base is, like, floating or something like that. He's got, like, a flotation device on that. Oh! Your points! Wait, wait, you're still... You're still sold out of... Really? Oh, maybe because I've been loading the game with save states rather than, like, from the save file. Uh, uh okay. <laughs> Kid, do you have any new dialogue yourself? And uh, no, not really. So that was just a big waste of time overall. Great! Fantastic! Okay, let's move on. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Rabby rabbits, full speed ahead. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't. Did I miss it somewhere back there? I mean, I guess it's possible if I did, because I'm coming towards the end of this. I don't know where I missed the ocean rabbit. It's definitely down this route somewhere, I thought. Or maybe it was down this series of tracks instead. Because, yeah, I don't think I went down that straightaway either. But we're going down there now! <laughs> also, now that I went down these new tracks, I should probably erase these suckers as well, just for the sake of cleanups. There we go, nice and beautiful, like brand new. Aside from those other markings, which will probably impact the collector's value of the map. But details! But details! <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't been down here, okay. Yeah, I still haven't activated this. This is another one of the arches. Yeah, there's an arch over here, there's an arch over there. It's not the same arch, believe you me. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop a thing there, plop a number six next to it. And I guess see where it leads. Woo. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done all that much this part yet, though. <laughs> if you think about it. I mean, yeah, I did show a whole bunch of new tracks, but I didn't get a rabbit, I didn't get a force gem yet. Okay, so that's where it appears in the force gem. I mean, that, that that's where it appears in this realm. So now that means I can mark this as six. Yes, yes. Six, six. But yeah, the, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really getting force gem, not getting any rabbits thus far, but oh, oh, we'll get something. Uh-oh, did I miss it? Okay. <laughs> the very tip of my train touched it and we're good. So now we know where that sucker leads to. And it's pointing us in the right direction that we want to go. Delightful! Go. There's <laughs> gotta be a rabbit around here somewhere. Now just watch that the pirates are gonna come back just because I'm looking for a rabbit. It's gonna make me miss it. And I have to go through these series of tracks all over again. Or I'll just end up missing the rabbit entirely. Like some super turbocharged rabbits. Oh, there we go. Ooh, here we go. The moment of truth. <sighs> oh geez, it, it's it's a fast one. This this might not turn out that well. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh. Well, we know where it is, so I guess I can reset by going inside the uh, underwater gates. Uh, so I guess I will do just that after we finish going down these tracks here. 
which I, I guess we're done now. <laughs> you know, I don't know what's faster to reset that rabbit's location, that portal, or that gate. I'm not so sure, I mean, it's like right in the middle of the two. Oh, and you know, since I actually returned here, I can also erase this! Yay! Cleaning up! <laughs> so, I guess we sort of kind of am... I mean, are getting stuff done-ish, kind of, stuff that I wanted to show, maybe, kind of, that's not the rabbit barrel. Yeah, I guess it is maybe closer, slightly closer to the uh, fish area, I mean, uh, the other gate area instead of the fish area. Where is it? Did it not come back because I didn't go to... Oh, okay. So yeah, it is closer to the other gate then. All right. <laughs> oh, that was so close! If only you had not moved, but you moved. Oh, no! <laughs> that was right over it! Yeah, yeah, I know the timer ran out, but... Well, it just always feels like a jip when it gets over the rabbit, but it still doesn't count. <laughs> I'm sure you know that feeling if you've been trying to catch these little buggers. Alright, there we go. I think the fastest way back now, I'm gonna go to the Pirate's Fortress. It is back along this way. I'll just turn myself around using the warp gate. But yeah, that is another rabbit taken care of. Just as a slightly unrelated note to stuff we've been doing, listen to the, the whistle when you pull it down slowly. It gets louder and louder. Yeah, I, I've always just like jerked it down, but... Because, you know, I was, I was always doing it like in reaction to stuff and whatnot, so... I just thought, eh, you know, I never really show that it's got a slight change of volume and tone and stuff like that, so... Anyway, Pirate Hideout, round two. So now we're gonna come across a Goron that's over here. Yeah, a Goron. He's like, my friend has been captured by the pirates. I came here to play hero, but I'm too frightened to go forward. I guess I do not have the stump for this rescuing business. Please, you go do it for me. I'm scared. Oh, please do not say that. You must save my friend. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, good. My friend is in the back of that cave. Please know that I am counting on you. Here is a gang of pirates in there, and you need to defeat as many as you can. Do your best because you also get a reward for the rescue. <laughs> so yeah. Help. So now instead of a guy, it's been replaced by a Goron. It's the same game as before. And now that we have the Bow of Light, if you charge it up, you'll get 10 more points per shot. But you know, it's it's opportunistic because you might not be able to pull that off every time based on the, the speed of things. And also, they go straight through multiple enemies at once. So you don't have to rapidly shoot stuff. You just have to kind of wait for them to align like the stars and the planets. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a cool one. Yeah, that's satisfying. Uh, oh, I didn't wait for it to charge all the way. That's okay. Uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Is it gonna start? Oh, shoot. Ooh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're still making decent point progress here. Nope. Nope. Oh, I lost my combo. You mother of pearls. And, oh shoot, no, 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 no. Okay, well, that wasn't a too bad of a first run. <laughs> no, I've come to rescue all, thank goodness, I was so scared. There's a little escape car over there, let's use it, get out, of, get out of here. Yep, remember, same game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know what to do. Only go for the extra pointages if you can help it. If you can't, just, just shoot them to fend them off, because if you get captured, you'll lose automatically, so just like, nah, nah, let's not, let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> let's just do our best to try and max out our score. Oh, wait, did that? Oh, that didn't count. I just lost my combo because of that stupid transition screen. Uh, oh, there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot. I better do it regular shots. <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's about picking your moments. Pick your battles of when you can use the extra point charge shots of the light arrow. Man, you guys are coming at turbo speed now. <laughs> and you know, if you let them go for too long, they start to, uh, oh no, I lost it. They start to lose the, uh, oh shoot, shoot, shoot. <laughs> they start shooting a lot of cages at you at once, and then you start to lose track of all sorts of handle over the situation. <laughs> This should be enough to get me into the 3,000 plus barrier. Yeah, there we go. I made a lot of mistakes there, so... 
<laughs> it wasn't exactly one of my best friends, but I, I just need to get over 4,000 once. Thank you for rescuing me. Here, take this. Yeah, I got the quiver! Woo! If I get kidnapped again, I can call on you and help me, right? Uh, my friend has been captured by the pirates. I came here to play your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's do that again. That's uh, hmm, suspicious, suspicious. It's like he wants to get captured or something. Okay. All right, so now we're going for over four thousand. So we gotta be at the top of our game. Well, maybe not that much at the top. We just can't make that many mistakes like I was doing in the last one. You just gotta be more accurate overall and. Not try and get the charge shots as often as I was trying to. So yeah, the first run, that was for the crib. Oh shoot, that was for the practice run. Yeah. <laughs> See, when I hit that cage, it automatically just ruins my combo. Ah oh, shoot, shooty, this is not going spectacular, is it? <laughs> eh, dang you. What if I should just like restart this? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it cost me rupees to do so. You gave up and ran away like a scared little cuckoo? Oh no, I did not. I just want 4,000 points. <laughs> Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, for realsies now, all my focus into this. It's not that hard to get 4,000. I don't know what's even wrong with me. <laughs> just charge up and time it properly. Charge up. Timer properly. You gotta aim a little bit ahead of the direction that they're moving because of the delay between screens and the time it takes to get there and whatnot. So yeah, just just a matter of getting used to that and also not letting them get a cage out. That's that's another factor of things. Mm, triple combo. <laughs> yeah, sometimes there's, there's a better opportunity than others. Like when multiple comes out at the same time like that. That that is usually. It usually means that they're gonna line up in some sort of nice way. Oh, that was actually gonna be a line up, lined up, 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 up opportunity. Oh shoot, lost the combo. Well, they're not doing too bad though. Okay, well that's that's decent. It's better than it was the other round. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes, yes, yes. Escape car. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm very suspicious of you, Mister. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I could have got two there. Aha. Try and charge up as many as, you, as I can here when it's when it's at a slower rate. Uh, there we go. And also, I'm trying really hard not to miss. That, that helps a lot too. Uh, there we go. I'm not gonna shoot that one this time. <laughs> not gonna try and thread the needle of timing. Yeah, there we go. Two for the price of one. Okay. Yeah, you notice that the, the gap in the screen there is a little bit. Uh, Oh no, I lost the combo! The gap in the screen there is... Gotta, gotta play for that. You'd, it would be able to feel it a little bit better on the actual DS than uh, the emulator here, but well. But well. It's good, good luck recording a DS along with your pointer. <laughs> okay, it's not going too shabby here. Mm-hmm. No, oh, I guess... Uh, eh, maybe it could have been better. Oh shoot, 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 I did not even get close to that. <laughs> Can I go back and shoot a couple here? Oh, I got a gun! <laughs> shoot backwards, there we go, off screen. You're welcome, I, I did not get this high score. But I did get a prize, yay! If I get kidnapped again, I can count on you to help me, right? My friend isn't captured, so they're basically just flip-flopping over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do it. We can do this. It's just a matter of being a little bit more consistent. It's sort of like that um, uh, ice skating mini game, you know, when you're trying to get through it to get to the champion prize at the end of the ice skating long course. <laughs> you know, you had to be as almost consistent as humanly possible, but you can be quite consistent at. At shooting them in a row, just like the original Nintendo DS the shooting mini game. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. 
I will do just just I'm just I'm just kind of picking my opportunities even more carefully. <laughs> Fantastic! Yeah, baby. I like those apples. Not all that much. Oh, look at this. Look at this score. See, look at this. It's so much better when you're actually when you're actually paying attention, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty. I should say, not, not not so much paying attention, I'm always paying attention, but I mean that focusing on not missing more than anything to maximize that, the scoring potential out of things. Yeah, this is looking a whole, whole lot better. And I'm not going to shoot there, because the rock's in my way. And charge up, get 10 extra points there, ha ha ha! Ho ho ho! I'm not... <gasps> oh, did that count? I don't know if that counted. Ah, oh, because that was a transition screen. Uh, it... Well, I don't know. Anyway, I gotta get... Gotta get these taken care of here. We're kinda... Kinda running this tightly here. <laughs> I think I kinda messed up too much on that s section there, but we'll see. As long as I can keep my combo going, I might still have a shot at it. Because you don't have to be perfect. You can get, like, over 5,000 points on this thing. If not higher than that, so... As long as I... Oh, that, oh, that was close. I almost... Almost did not get that. Oh, I've got it this time. Because I can get 500 points or more in the last section here. Uh, I should actually aim over here. Uh, well, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, well, well, I got it. <laughs> By the way, if you don't kill him, he'll swatch you with the, the club and he'll be like, Oh, you didn't rescue him. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. Here, take this. Now that I got over 4,000, there's the prize, baby. Whew. So, what they're basically doing, or at least I, I think I heard from some other bit of dialogue or some other thing that I heard somewhere else, I, I forgot where, is that they purposely let themselves get kidnapped so that they can steal from the pirates. But, well, but, well, it, it just ends up turning into a mini game for us. <laughs> so, anyway, we cleared that sucker out to the max now. So we can now go ahead and get stuff set up for future side quests. So let's go over to the Sand Sanctuary. Sand Sanctuary ho, and look who is over here. And he's like, hey, aren't you the young man from earlier? Did you make it to the temple? I've got a favor to ask you. Do you know about the birds called cuckoos? <sighs> Do I ever. They are flightless, but when cornered, they can call their friends to unleash an amazing power. I know. I know. I want to study this phenomenon more closely. You do not, I assure you. You absolutely do not. My goal is to harness this unbelievable cuckoo power for the good of mankind. And this is where you come in, young man. Would you bring me some cuckoos? The more cuckoos, the better. At the very least, I'd like five. Once you bring them to me, I'd like, I'll give you something nice. Thanks. I didn't even say yes or no. You know those cuckoos I'm after? Well, the more you can bring, the better. And don't worry about your reward, it'll be good. If you think you might forget, why not write yourself a note? Thanks. Uh, uh, you're welcome. So we gotta go. We should do what we can. <laughs> we should do what we can to help Rail. <clears throat> Rail with his cuckoo study. I can't speak. I think my cold's coming back. Sure. Oh, very well. Let's be on our way, Link. So to Hyrule Castle we go. Tower of Spirits. So I'm betting that we're gonna get a little bit of extra dialogue here. To find the demon train that Maladus and Cole are riding, we must obtain the compass that light at the top of the tower. Burns said that there are stairs near the altar while Maladus was kept prisoner. Let's go to the altar first, Link. Or do you want to ride the train somewhere first? Yes, I would like to ride. I see. Well, we probably do need to make some preparations, so we can go anywhere we need to go first. And forest! <laughs> <laughs> it's the closest to Hyrule Castle. So yeah, the getting Kukos from Hyrule Castle is probably gonna be incredibly uneventful, like even on you know, from Hyrule Castle over to the Sand Sanctuary. Because there's not really all that many threatening enemies. There's just the sharks. And maybe a couple elephant the elephants, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, look how, look how little there is going to be of Elephant the Elephants that we even have a chance of having them. But the rest of the, the, rest of the way, it's just going to be like me blowing this the whole time. As a matter of fact, you know, this would still work on the Elephant the Elephants, because I'd eventually just scare them away, because there's, there's sensitive ears. <laughs>
Hey man, you got some kukos to sell? Yes, I am. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! I don't worry, there will be no issue of that whatsoever. That seriously could not have been any more uneventful. There weren't even any elephant the elephants. It was just two packs of sharks that I just used my whistle to blow. And they're done. I see you brought me some kukos. They are for me, right? No. Oh, you're delivering them somewhere else? Well, that's a shame. I hope next time you'll give me priority. Remember, I need at least five. And of course, I'll give you something nice for them. Okay, thank you. All right, yes, they're actually for you. <laughs> yes, they're giving me them. After all, you brought me so many kukos. Well, color this customer's surprise. Thank you. And of course, you get a force gem, which will unlock a whole mini dungeon of sorts. Oh, no, wait, this isn't... Yeah, this isn't the one that I was thinking of. Well, it's still a good place to unlock. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. You can bring me kukos anytime. The more kukos, the better. Bye now! Wait a second. I need to go menu, realm map. Fire realm. Doodle line up there. And explore that later. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. And now that we got kukos roaming around the island somewhere. I hear from my left speaker. Oh, there's one. There we go. So with the power of the cuckoo, use this little jumping area here. Get across there and voila! <laughs> stamp station. I would absolutely like to stamp that bad boy of a book. Oop. Voila. Oop, that's not very centered. That's not looking. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I am a happy camper. This cuckoo hover is not all that happy though. So, oh! yeah, that works. <laughs> so I'll just leave that cuckoo be, and they'll never have to worry about me again or anyone else if it doesn't. If no one ever wants to go get it on that island, which might be more of a hassle than not, because if you aggravate the cuckoo, the cuckoos, oh. Your eyes could be picked out so fast you won't believe it. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do a couple more side quests.